湾公广集团，华视教育文化频道。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是《智慧与阅读》一。同学，大家好，欢迎收看《智慧与阅读》的课程。本周我们将继续讨论教育相关的文章。在这一课中呢，我们在呃来了解，在美国以男女分班的方式提供特别的课程。在上课之前呢，我们先欢迎我们的特别来宾 Jeff。Hello, Jeff. Welcome to our program. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. 好，那我们现在就开始进行我们的课程。我们来念课文的部分。Most American schools have boys and girls in the same classroom, but a public high school in the small rural town of Boonesboro, Maryland, offers a special program. Top students in the ninth and tenth grades can attend single-sex classes for math, science, English. And social studies. 好，我们来看一下课文里面单词的部分。首先，第一个单词是农村的、田园的。Rural. It's a special word that means of or having to do with the countryside. If you have an urban setting, that's a city setting, something that takes place inside a city or a town. If it's rural, though, it takes place in the country. 好，接下来我们来看一下第二个单词是课程的意思。Program. Here for our excerpt, a program is a set of related classes that are designed to achieve a specific end or goal. This program here has been planned out with an aim in mind, and we'll find out what that aim is as we read on. 好，接下来我们来看一下下面一个单词有很多种意思，在这边是年级的意思。Grade. Here, a grade is a level in school that is related to a student's age. 好，接下来我们来看一下下一个单词是参加的意思。Attend. Attend. Here we have students attending classes. Attending classes. In a program, if you attend a class, you go to that class and you become a part of that class. That's what the word attend means here. It means you go to some place and join in on some activity or something like that. 好，我们看一下下面一个单词是单一的性别。Single sex. Here we're talking about classes that are single sex. That means they contain Only one gender. The classes are either going to be all boys or all girls when you're dealing with single-sex classes. 好，我们看一下下面一个单词是科学的意思。Science, science. 好，下面一个单词是社会的。Social, social. 好，我们现在看回课文的部分，我们来了解一下这一段的课文的内容。我们首先先看到，呃，这边所说的就是大部分的美国的学校呢，其实是，呃，就是在同一个教室里面是有 boys and girls， 就是所谓的男女合班的意思。但是我们在这课里面所要提到的，它是一个公立的。中学，那他这边呢？他有提到是在什么地方呢？我们先看呢，在，呃，我们先从一个小地方到大地方，所以他其实是在 Maryland 这一州，就是马里兰州。然后呢，他的这个呃地方叫做就是 Boonesboro， 
，就是这个是一个非常乡下的一个城镇，然后它的一个小小的一个公立高中，它所提供的一个课程叫做 Offer a Special Program， 就是他们提供一个特别的课程。那是怎么样的课程呢？他这边有提到说，就是 top students， 所谓的 top， 这边就是指程度好的同学，就是成绩好的同学，在什么年级呢 ？In the ninth and the tenth grades， 这边的话，九年级的话，同学注意一下，因为我们在讲第九的话，就是 N I N E， 但是呢，因为是就是他会在讲叙述的地方会去掉 E， 然后加上 T H， 所以变成 ninth。然后 ten 的话，就是在直接加上 th， 就是第十的意思。所以在第九年级跟第十年级的，就是成绩好的学生呢，他们是可以来参加 single sex classes， 就是所谓的男女分班的这样子的一个课程。那哪些课程有提供这些男女分班的呃课程呢？我们来看一下，是 math， 就是数学方面 ，science， 自然科学方面。English 就是英文方面，还有 Social Studies 就是社会课程这样子的一个部分。好，那我们现在来想要问一下 Jeff 老师一个问题，我们想要了解一下，就是这一课里面一直不断提到的是 Single Sex Classes， 我们看看呃他的观点是什么样子，我们来问一下。Jeff, we have a question here. Are single sex classes unheard of in America? Hmm. Well, we're talking about one right now, so I wouldn't say they are unheard of, but it's pretty close. Nowadays, public schools are co-educational or co-ed. That means very often or most often, you're going to find girls and boys in the same classrooms. But historically, Universities and high schools in the United States were single sex. Harvard, Yale, many of the Ivy League schools, in fact, started off as single sex schools. They educated males exclusively in order to become preachers. So that was a long time ago. Further, in places like New England, there are still some very famous all girls schools or single sex schools like Smith College. So historically, It's not unheard of in America to have single-sex schools, but nowadays, it's getting there. It's close to being unheard of. Okay, 好，我们刚刚听了 Jeff 老师的解释，就是呃， uh, 我们刚刚听到就是历史上面来说的话，就是以前都是 single-sex classes， 就是男女分班的，但是现在呢，偏向都是 co-ed， 就是男女合校这样子一个方式。好，那我们先来看一下下面一段的课文，我们来了解一下下面的内容是在说什么。我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下。The aim is to help teenagers keep their minds on their work by keeping males and females apart. Rebecca Brown chooses the students for what Boonesboro High School calls the academy. 好，我们来看一下单词的部分。首先，第一个单词是目的。Aim. Here we have the word aim. An aim in this case is a purpose. If you have an aim, you have a goal you'd like to achieve, or an outcome that you'd like to see come about. An aim is usually a person's intention. If we are going to keep it as simple as possible. 好，我们看下一个单词是十几岁的青少年。Teenager. A teenager is a person who is aged in their teens. So what does this mean? It means the word teen, T E E N, is a part of their age. All right. So the age is like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen are all. Teen ages, so hence, if you're one of those ages, you're considered a teenager. 好，下面一个单词是男性的意思。Male. If you are a male, you are a boy, a guy, or a man. 好，下一个单词是女性的意思。Female. If you are a female, you are a girl or a woman. 
下一个单字呢是学院或者是大学研究院的意思。Academy. An academy is a special school. Usually, an academy is a good high school that could even be public. 好，我们来看一下这一段里面的课文内容的部分。首先，我们先看一下，这边有个单词是 M， 所以呢，这边是说它的目的或是目标呢，它是借由借由什么东西呢？我们看到这一句话里面的最后面 ，by keeping males and females apart， 我们。呃、uh, ，就是看到这个介系词 by 的话，就是借由什么样的事情。它的意思是说，呃、uh, ，有一个片语是 keep apart， 就是把它分开的。那怎么样分开呢？就是把男性和女性都分开。它是这样子一个方式。他说这样子的话是可以 help teenagers keep their minds on their work， 就是说可以帮助这些青少年，就是可以专注在他们的功课上面。如果说男女分开的话，他们可以达到这样子的一个目的。好，下面一个人是 Rebecca Brown。她说呢 ，Choose the students for what b o o m b o r o High School calls the academy。有些人呢，就是可能会把好的学生、成绩好的学生，把它集合在一起。他可能给他一个专有的名字，比方说有些人会说这是精英班、自由班之类的。但是在这个中学里面，他们用的名字叫做。Academy 就是特别是一个研究院这样子一个方式，让大家都可以专注在他们的功课上面。好，我们对于这样子的方式觉得非常的特别。我们再看一下下面一段，他们这样子的一个教育方式有什么特殊的地方？我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下。What we really want to do is take that top group of kids and take them to the very highest level. That they can achieve here, so that they're prepared for college. Placement in the academy is voluntary. Students are invited after middle school. 好，我们来看一下里面单词的部分。首先，第一个单词是完成、实现的意思。Achieve. To achieve something is to do something. Specifically, if you achieve something, you reach a goal. Through hard work and maybe even some skill. 好，下面一个单词是有准备的意思。Prepared. If you are prepared, you are ready. So prepared students have studied in advance or have done the things necessary to be ready for tests, quizzes, etc. Here we have prepared students who are going to be prepared or ready. For college. 好，下面一个单词是自愿的。Voluntary, voluntary. Okay, something that's voluntary is something that's done of one's own free will. They're not compelled or forced to do it. They want to do it. 好，下面一个单词是邀请的意思。Invite. To invite someone is to make a request. Of them, so if you invite someone, you politely or formally request someone to do something with you or to go somewhere with you, etc. 好，我们看回课文的地方来了解一下这一段的课文内容。首先，我们先看一下这边呢是呃呃看到这边就说他们想要做的事情呢，就是 take that top group of kids. 好，我们看到这边的话，就是说这些都是程度好的同学，我们会把他们找出来 ，and take them to the very highest level. OK， 再来就是引导他们可以达到最高的程度，就是最好的境界 ，that they can achieve。就是比方说他们的潜力是无穷的，所以我们可以教他最难的东西，或者是最深奥的东西。这样子的话呢 ，so that they're prepared for college。在这边的话，我们可以看到有准备的这个用法，就是说他们对于上大学呢是有准备的。好，再来下面呢 ，placement in the academy。这边所谓的 academy 的话，就是刚刚所提到的，我们类似在像精英班或者是自由班这样子一个呃称呼。然后呢，我们说怎么样去进入呢？他说这样子都是 voluntary， 都是自愿的。Students are invited。
invited， 就是说学生呢都会被邀请。什么时候会被邀请呢？就是 middle school， 就是在就是初中之后，他们都会被邀请，可以进入这样子的一个 academy。好。我们在这边呢，我们会发现这样子一个教育的方式是非常特殊的，但是还不知道成效是怎么样。我们来问一下 Jeff 老师，看看他的看法是如何。Jeff, we have a question here. Do you think this approach will work or not? Hmm, that's a Interesting question. First of all, I will, I do think that this approach will help the students get better grades. But I also believe that school is more than just getting good grades. There is a social aspect to school, a way of getting to know your classmates, a way for boys to get to know girls, so on so forth. And I think these students might be missing out on that aspect of school. Even though they get very good grades. 好，我们刚刚听到就是 Jeff 老师的他的看法。那我们现在来看一下下面一段的课文内容。我们来了解一下他们所需要的条件是什么。They need high marks and test scores and strong teacher recommendations. They also need to be involved in activities. Almost 350 students have taken part. In the academy, it began as an experiment in 2004. 我们来了解一下这段里面的单词的部分。首先，先看一下第一个单词是推荐的意思。Recommendation. Here, a recommendation is like a recommendation letter. It's where a teacher writes a letter on your behalf, telling other people how good you are or what your strengths are. 下一个单词的话是参加的意思。Involve. If you involve yourself in something, you become part of something. If you are involved in some activity, you are an important part of that activity. 好，下面呢，我们来看一下这个活动这个单词。Activity. Here's the word activity. This is simple. An activity is something that you do. Playing chess, playing basketball, playing tennis—those could all be considered activities. 好，下一个是片语的，是参加的意思。Take part in, take part in. If you involve yourself in some activity, you are taking part in that activity. In fact, to involve yourself and to take part in something, or to even to join in, they all mean about the same things. 下一个单词是实验的意思。Experiment. An experiment is something you do to learn or to test your ideas or to question your way of doing things. Very often, scientists perform experiments. Something important about experiments: when you do an experiment, you're not really sure how things are going to turn out. 好，我们来看一下这一段课文的内容的部分。首先，我们先看一下，他说呢，学生呢必须要有很好的成绩 ，high marks， 这边就是很高的成绩。还有呢 ，test scores， 就是考试的成绩。还有什么呢 ？Strong teacher recommendations， 就是所谓的老师的推荐信，而且是要非常的 strong， 就是非常强烈推荐的这样子的部分。他们呢还必须要去。Be involved in activities, 就是也要非常积极的参与活动。所以呢 ，almost 大约是呃三百五十个同学，他们是 have taken part in the academy， 就是已经参与了这样子一个研究院。It began as an experiment in 2004. 我们看一下，它是在两千零四年的时候开始这样子的一个实验。好，我们接下来看一下下面一段，来了解一下下面的内容。我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下课文。Michael Bear has been at Boonesboro High School for 20 years and directs the academy. His ninth-grade English class for boys centers on books 
that he believes boys find interesting. 好，我们来看一下这边的单词的部分。首先，第一个单词是管理的意思。Direct. Here we have the word direct. Now, directing is similar to managing. If you're directing something, you are in control, or you are in charge of a business, an institution, or some other organization. 我们来看一下下面一个单词是着重的意思。Center on, center on. Okay, here we have a verb phrase. If something is centered on something, it has a center. It has that thing as a center, or it has something as its most important or central element. 好，我们来看一下课文的内容的部分。首先，我们先看一下，在这边看到这个人是谁呢 ？Michael Bear， 他是已经在这个高中已经教了二十年了。然后呢，他也 directs the academy， 那意思就是说他会去管理这样子一个研究院。那这个 academy 就是刚刚所说的，就是在这一群精英的同学。所以呢，我们说是管理这个研究院。他说呢 ，his ninth grade。English class for boys. 我们看到九年级，九年级的话就是大概国三的年级，就是年纪。然后呢 ，English English class 这边是英文课，但是他的英文课不是在学英文英国的语言，而是学一些文学的课程。他们呢是会 center on， 就是会着重在有一些书籍。什么样的书籍呢 ？That he believes boys find interesting， 就是。呃，男生会觉得很有趣的一些书籍。好，那我们想知道一下是什么样的书籍呢？让大家会觉得说男生会有兴趣。我们看一下下面一段，我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下。The novels that they're reading now, for lack of a better phrase, they're very manly novels. They're novels that deal with the arrogance of man and the pride of man, which are ultimately. Man's downfall. 好，我们来看一下，在这边的片语的第一个部分，哈，是谈论论及什么样的事情。Deal with. Hmm. So here, this verb phrase, deal with, it makes it clear that these books, for our case, are concerned with something. This phrase is used to make clear the themes or topics that are being discussed. In this case. In these novels. 好，接下来呢，我们来看一下下面一个单词是有关于傲慢、自大的意思。Arrogance, arrogance, arrogance is a feeling of superiority that a person has over other people or things. Usually, arrogance is unfounded, and arrogant people boast or talk about how good they are or how much better they are than other people. 好，接下来我们看一下下面一个单词是自豪得意，还有骄傲的意思。Pride, pride is a feeling of satisfaction or pleasure that you get from your accomplishments. 好，我们看一下下一个单词是最后的意思。Ultimately, ultimately, this is an adverb. Ultimately means the same as finally or in the end. 我们现在再看回这课的课文的内容，我们看一下他这边所所说的就是他们在读的小说是什么呢？他这边有提到 ，for lack of a better phrase， 就说其实是没有更好的一个呃词汇来解释这样子的一个部分，所以他们读的东西是非常的 manly novels， 就是说呢，非常有男子气概的小说。然后呢，它是什么样的小说呢 ？There are novels that deal with， 就是谈论到什么呢？就是 the arrogance of man， 就是男性的非常呃骄傲的一面。然后呢，还有 the pride of man， 就是他们呢非常自大的那一面。然后 which are ultimately man's downfall， 就说最后都是男。呃，男人最后堕落的一些原因，那这个是比较，就是他说是没有办法解释的非常清楚，他都是直接用一个 manly 这样子的字来做形容。好。
，我们在这课里面已经有看了很多的，就是内容的部分，但是里面有一些字汇的用法比较特殊，我们来看一下我们在这边所做的一个整理。首先，我们先看一下 attend 这个字，它的用法是非常多种的，我们就一一的来请 Jeff 老师来帮我们读一下。首先，第一个单词是参加会议 ，attend，attend attend a meeting。Attend classes or take attendance. 好，那我们看到第二个部分是上课，就是 attend classes。那再来呢，老师都会点名，所以呢，他会用 take attendance 这样子一个用法。接下来我们来看一下下面一个。呃，一张字卡里面呢，我们所提到的都是从 teenager 衍生出来的一些字。我们先请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念，念完之后我们再做解释。Teenager in one's teens, thirty something or forty something, in one's early thirties or in one's late thirties. 好，我们来看一下这张里面，就是其实刚刚 Jeff 老师在先前的时候已经有提到 teenager 这个字呢，就是十几岁的意思，所以他也有提到这个字 in one's teens。OK， 我们可以看到 T E E N， 然后其实它是一个复合字 ，age 就是年纪的意思 ，A G E。但是呢，因为他是一个人，所以呢，最后就是一二结尾，所以就是会变成 teenager 这样子一个字。好，再来下面我们看到三十几岁或者是四十几岁，我们可以说 she's thirty something， 就是三十几岁，或者是 forty something， 这是比较口语化的一个用法。再来呢，如果说他是三十出头，因为有时候我们很难去判别，呃，就是一个人的年纪，所以你可以说 in one's early thirties， 就是在他三十岁初期的时候。那如果说已经快要接近四十岁的时候，你就会用 late， L A T E 这样子一个字来当做一个四十几岁的意思。好，接下来我们来看一下另外一个用法的部分是准备好的，这也是一个两个字合在一起的一个形容词用法 ，well prepared， well prepared。接下来我们看一下，有两个字呢比较特殊一点。那我们先请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下这两个字的念法。Voluntary, voluntary, volunteer, volunteer. 好，我们先来看一下这边的话 ，voluntary 就是志志愿的意思哦，就是。出呃出自内心的想要去做的一件事情。那 volunteer 就是说这是一个志工的一个形式，你是没有拿钱的。那我们来看一下例句的部分，所以我们可以看到有没有人自愿呢 ？Any volunteers？ 就是老师在课堂上的时候呢，常常会说有没有人愿意做这件事情，或者是说现在很流行，就是当学生的时候，你们可以去参加。就是一些活动，去当 international volunteer， 有很多的国际的赛事，他都会希望学生能主动的去帮忙，这些都是 volunteer 这样子一个用法。好，那再接下来我们来看一下，就是在参加这个部分呢，其实它的片语的用法是比较特别，也是常常在用到的。Take part in, take part in, or participate in, participate in. 好，这个如果说同学要去考一些英文检定考试的时候，常常会出现这样子一个片语的一个用法。好，在接下来我们来看一下，着重在什么地方 ？Center on, center on, focus on, focus on, or concentrate on, concentrate on. 好，比方说这个课文里面有提到说它可能着重在某一个部分，那我们都用 on 这个介系词。那同学可以看到，就是这三个片语，就是也是常常在英文检定的时候会用得到的。呃，我们这一课呢，课文就讲到这边为止。那里面的内容很丰富，也希望同学好好的复习一下。我们非常呃谢谢 Jeff 老师来到节目之中。那我们下周的时候再看下一课的课文的部分，谢谢大家，拜拜。